Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 13th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of Romans chapter 3, and we're going to follow up on the idea of what we spoke about yesterday. You see, as Christians, this means that we have been born again. The old has gone, the new has come. We must exhibit the Spirit of Christ in our attitude, in the way that we deal with others, and in the way that we allow others to affect us in the way that we allow the things of this world to affect us. And yet I think it's important to point out our text this morning, Romans chapter 3, beginning at verse 10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeks after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together, become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. What the text is telling us today is that on our own, we would never seek God. We would never seek the things of God, nor would we seek to do the things of God. You see, Jesus said in John chapter 6 and verse 44, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him and will raise him up at the last day. You'll hear people comment from time to time that they found the Lord, but according to the Bible, we don't find the Lord. The Lord finds us. We are the ones who are lost. He seeks us out. He draws us unto him. And that's what our text is saying today. There is not anyone who is righteous, There is not anyone who understands. There is not anyone who seeks after God. You see, sometimes it's easy for us to underplay the hand of God in our lives. And the reason for that is, is that we are looking for something bigger than ourselves to vilify the fact that we have been born again. But what this text is telling us is you're not going to find God in that major event. You're not going to find God in that major feeling. God is very subtle. He represented himself as a dove at Jesus' baptism. He's that gentle, quiet spirit that moves within us and compels us to do good, to love God, to live righteously, to help others. And so if you're looking for God in the shout of hallelujah and you sense you don't find him there, he's in the gentle tear that flows down your cheek. He's in the simple, quiet moment when no one else is around. He's in that subtle, quiet voice that tells you when you're doing wrong. And I say all of this simply because often We overlook the voice of God. We overlook the hand of God. We overlook the work of God in our lives because we're looking for something far too big, far too glamorous, far too magnificent. But thank God for the little things, friends. Thank God for the desire that you have to pray. Thank God for the desire that you have to read your Bible. Thank God for the desire you have to fellowship about the things of God with others. If you're like me, you find it difficult to have a normal conversation with most people. And you may even find yourself trying to find a way to turn the conversation to the things of God. That's a small thing, friends. But thank him for it. Because on your own, you would never do it. It is God in you that compels you to do these small acts of grace that manifest the Lord Jesus and are evident of his spirit in your life. So when you go about your day today, focus on those little things. 
Focus on those small desires and urges that you have that on your own you know you never would have had. And by that, friends, you see the work of God in your lives. And maybe remembering those times, those days, those years where you awoke every morning, you went throughout your day, and God never even entered your mind. And therefore, that should lead you to bow your head quietly, lift your hand, and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you will do in my life. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so glad that you joined us this morning. I pray that your day is blessed, full of the Spirit of God, and full of joy, and that in all you do, you bring him honor, glory, and praise. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.